At the age of 20, I married my favorite girl Isabella. She was my age, and the family life to come seemed clear and cloudless to me. Our love affair developed according to all the canons of the genre. We met at a friend's birthday party, dated for almost a year, and then got married. She was the first woman I ever fell in love with. When my parents expressed doubts about my impending marriage, I said I would pack my bags and just go to her. So we got married. A year later we had a son, and three years later a daughter. I loved Isabella very much. Over the years, that feeling grew stronger and stronger. I had no reason to suspect her of infidelity, because she never gave me a reason. I trusted her completely without humiliating her with jealousy. Like everyone else, we sometimes quarreled, but the quarrels did not turn into scolding. We quickly found a common language and made peace. We lived together for 17 years, and then everything changed. Isabella suddenly became irritable, started scandals in an empty place. She changed her image drastically. She changed her hair color to brunette. She had new clothes and perfumes. Your wife began to regularly stay late at work for fake reasons. Our intimate life was on the decline. Such changes in family life could not just happen. I began to think and came to the conclusion that it all started after the reunion. Something happened at the reunion that changed my wife. I knew some of her classmates and decided to carefully ask them about the reunion. They told me a lot of interesting things about my wife. It turns out that in 10th grade, Isabella was in love with a classmate, James. He was quite a handsome boy and very popular with his classmates. After high school, they broke up. He went to another city to study, married the daughter of the factory manager, and had a child. Isabella was sad, and then she married me. So they existed in parallel in different cities, until James was transferred to our city, and their paths crossed at a meeting of classmates. They met, and the old love was rekindled. It's a pretty common situation that happens all the time. And so it went. They slept together that very night, and they couldn't stop. Isabella looked for any reason to be with her lover. She made up reasons that would be the envy of any secret agent. I already knew the name and address of Isabella's lover. The only thing left to do was to catch the lovers in the act and end the story. I must say that I felt very bad. My love for Isabella had become mixed with a certain amount of squeamishness. Knowing that my wife had gone to bed with another man left me with no prospect for a future with her. Still, before making a final decision about the fate of our family, I decided to talk to my wife first. I asked her directly about the lover. In response, she hysterically threw a grandiose scandal at me, accusing me of all the sins and most important in her broken life. She called me a scumbag and said that not only had I ruined her life, but that I dared to question her honesty. I waited a few more days, and one evening, when my beloved was late for work again, he came to the address where her James lived. He opened the door and nodded toward the kitchen when I asked him where she was. Isabella was sitting on a stool with one leg propped up, smoking. When she saw me, she jumped and said angrily, Why did you come here? I love him. Just like that, no preamble. Basically, everything was clear to me, but I made one last attempt and tried to remind her about the children. But she said the children would stay with her and her new lover. I no longer had the energy or desire to continue the conversation. I told my wife that I did not want to talk about it anymore that our conversation was the last one, and that I would file for divorce myself. Isabella turned to the window and let me know that the conversation was over. I left the apartment in silence. When I got home, I explained to my children that my mother had gone on a long business trip. 
I did not dare to tell my children the truth, although I knew that I would have to at some point. But my son asked me mom went to another family? I nodded. He hugged me, and we sat like that with him for half the night. The next day, I filed for divorce. It took two months. It's not over yet, they gave us time to reconcile. The children live with me. Isabella has been in no hurry all this time to make her happy with a new daddy. One evening my ex-wife came to visit me. She told me that she had left her James because, in her words, she had realized that she had never loved anyone but me. I listened to her monologue in silence and explained that her ex-husband had died that night in her lover's apartment. I also told her that I would not prevent her from seeing her children, but that I would never live with her.